the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we're going to help this noob reach second C and awaken the string fruit. But before we eat this fruit and start grinding, I created a Twitter account, so make sure to follow for future announcements and giveaways. Aside from that, you can show your support by using Starcode Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Time to start! Okay guys, so we're gonna eat this fruit now. And to start grinding, we have the bandits. For our first skill, we have the rainbow string. So yes, it is multi-target skill. So grinding will be easy. Okay, just lure 5. Use your skill until you defeat them. The goal here is to reach level 10. And after that, off to our next island. And that island is the jungle. Guys, all your stats will go in the block fruit, okay? Don't focus on the defense or melee. So starting off with the monkeys, just lure them in the water. Okay, the water, no damage. I think this is a glitch, but it's fine. We can take advantage of this. There you go, see that? So what I did with this fruit is that I finished the monkey quest twice. When you finish it twice, you will reach level 17. And after that, ta -da, Marine Fortress. Why Game Burn Home? You keep on doing this. Because all you need to do is lure petty officers, use your Z skill, Z skill, Z skill. Just be patient at the start. And after just defeating two, you will level up really fast, especially your mastery. So our goal here is to unlock two skills so that we can grind faster. For the stats, again, put all in the blocks fruit, okay? So by the time you reach level 40, and 41 here, you will unlock your second skill, the multi-string attack. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go, multi-string. Multi-damage. Oh, I almost forgot we've also unlocked our third skill. Actually, it was unlocked the second time, the string path. There you go, Spider-Man. I call this Spider-Man. Okay, so back to grinding the petty officers until you reach level 60. And after this, go to this island and start defeating the mob leader until you grind. Guys, listen. 1,000 plus candies. Okay, you can only do this in this update to so make sure to take advantage of this okay yeah as you can see every fight of candy so i this is fast forwarded i grind 1600 candies why because i went to the middle town and bought the santa hat check that out guys once i equip it so next up desert we're gonna start here with desert bandits the technique here with most of the mobs just lure them make sure that there is something at their back that will catch them Go, so that they won't go flying around and in terms of damage it's really easy check it out boom the goal here is to reach level 75 and after that desert officers same strategy guys lure them there you go the goal here is to reach level 90 okay so at level 90 guys it is time to move on to our next island the frozen village don't forget to buy all the ability teacher cells the Geppo, the Buso, and the Soru. Starting off with the Snow Bandits, you need to defeat 7, right? Lure 5, again, use your skills. Boom, easy. The goal here is search level 105. And after that, you can start with the mini boss in this island, the Yeti. The goal level here is to reach level 130. It's easy to defeat. Use your skills. There you go. Rainbow String has a good knockback. And there you go. Again, 130. After that, moving on, Marine Fortress, we're back. Again, 130, we're gonna start with the Vice Admirals. Actually, Vice Admiral, why with S? Because we're gonna do server hop. We're just gonna defeat lots of Vice Admirals, okay? <laughs> you dodge that skill, and everything will be fine. Again, ZX, dodge, 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 and ZX. Goal here is level 225, that's a lot, right? And before we even reach that, our third skill will be unlocked. The Overheated Sniper. This skill has one of the longest range in game. There you go. 225. Next up, the Coliseum. Here we're gonna grind at uh, single target enemies. Togo Warriors, you need to defeat three. And they're so far away, so we're gonna defeat three, and then two, and then two on the other side to finish a quest. Okay, the goal here is to reach level 275. But before that, you can go here in the prison when you reach level 150 and start defeating the Swan, the Chief Warden, and the Warden. 
but I don't suggest this because it's kind of far to go and if you're gonna do server hop it's kind of uh take your time because sometimes someone already defeated it so just focus on the gladiators when you reach level 275 okay so there you go lure four and with just one combo you can defeat them all x skill your z skill and your c skill for my stats again all stats in the blocks fruit okay the goal is reach level 330 and after that moving on magma village guys we skip the quest here we are going directly to the military spies okay so here you go lure four at a time and with just one combo you can defeat them okay make sure to aim properly and look out for their soru your blink attack or something like that boom okay so the goal here is to reach level 350 and after that mini boss in this island bag bad bro you guys he's very easy to defeat attack right wait for him to use this skill and then attack him. Make sure to cycle your skills. The goal here, guys, listen, is to reach level 425. Okay, we're gonna skip the other grind mob grinding mob quests. We're gonna focus on the mini bosses. Why? Because that's easier. Just do server hop, guys. So next up at 425 underwater cave. Here we're gonna start and end with the fishman lord. It has two lives. The only thing that you need to dodge is the trident. So I'm gonna show it to you. Same with the skill of the Magma uh, Admiral. Check this out. The Trident. Once you dodge that, use your skills. And everything will be easy, okay? Okay, there you go. Oops, the Trident. Okay. So guys, our goal here is to reach level 500. Yes, 500. Why 500 game or not? Because the next uh, boss is located in the Skylands at level 500. The Whisper. Yes, the Whisper. We've again skip lots of quests so again it's easy to defeat just dodge his cannon like that cannon guys if you ever get the cannon his own cannon then it will be good so we got a cannon or bazooka sorry so guys at 575 the thunder god but before we even fight this boss we are going to unlock our Sorizonaki with the lord of destruction there we go Okay, 750k. There you go. So guys, start defeating the Thunder God until if you're checking our pattern, yes. Your answer is correct, 675, because you will unlock the quest of the mini boss in this final grinding island, the Fountain City, the Cyborg. And check it out guys, we've unlocked our last skill, the ultimate thread. Okay, so here it is, there you go. So the technique here is use two of your skills, maybe three, dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, after you use his skill, you use one of your skills. You can use your cannon or bazooka for his HP not to regenerate. There you go, very easy. The goal here is to reach level 700, guys, 700. After that, you will get a quest, right? And after that, talk to mil the military detective in the prison, go to Frozen Village, defeat the Ice Admiral, go back to the prison our detective and go to the middle town and look for the experience pirate and he will then send you to the second C so here we go finally guys second C what's next game or not go to the cafe exchange your candies for fragments there go you need at least oh yeah 15k yes and after that look for your friends so they will help you in unlocking or awakening the spring fruit Go, you will be teleported here, defeat the boss, boom. And there you go. Fast forward, we finish it. I'm gonna show you how much fragments do you need. So, first off, for the Z skill, you need 800. For the F skill, you need 2,500. For the X skill, you need 3,500. For the C skill, you need 4,500. And for the last skill, you need. 6,000. So, checking out the Awakened skill. For the first skill, we got the Thermal Laceration. There you go. It really looks cool, guys. Okay. Next up, the F skill. The God's Highway. Does it damage the enemy gamer? No. No, no damage. Check it out. No damage. No damage. Correct me if I'm wrong. For the third skill, we got the Silk Prison. There you go. Boom. 
Okay. For our C skill, the Eternal White. One of the coolest skills, guys. Check that out. It really looks cool. Yes. You agree? Yes. One more time. Boom. Okay. For our last skill, the Heavenly Punishment. I I want to show you the damage. More than half HP of this level, 1000 mob. Check that out, guys. It really looks cool. There you go. The damage, the damage. Okay. Okay, guys. So that's it for the last skill, I think, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, level 1 noob reaches second C and awakens the string fruit. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!